Hey guys, my name is Rob and this is Bluegrass Profits. Today I'm doing something just completely different. I want to talk to the new sellers out there that are looking to start on Amazon. Um, I have some advice for you and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this uh, Amazon form uh, because it's kind of comical. So if this is you, I'm sorry, um, you were led in the wrong direction, but stay with me. I'm going to read some of this to you. So for all new sellers, um, my best advice for you is to stay off of the Amazon forms, especially if you're doing retail arbitrage, because that is a recipe for disaster. So what I'm going to do is I just want to go through this form and um, just kind of read what, what they're talking about. So the title of this is, are there any new retail arbitragers legitimately been making money on Amazon? Uh, this post is from Love You Always. So if this is you, you know, I don't want to say that you've been led in the wrong direction, but um, don't ask for any advice on the forums regarding RA. So um, it says, I just scanned for five hours the past few days at Costco and a few hours in discount stores like Ross. It seems that I'm restricted in the vast majority of categories such as food, gourmet, beauty, health, etc. Most of the ones I'm allowed to sell are priced so competitively they are net losers and the few that showed a profit that I'm allowed to sell are but a few pennies. Is there something I'm doing wrong or is this the experience of all new Amazon sellers? And if it is, then how does a new Amazon seller make money if they have to buy wholesale from a brand in order to have a chance of getting unrestricted on Amazon? I'm thinking of selling on Walmart or eBay since I don't believe they have any restrictions. Should I do that? Sorry if I sound like a newbie. Please guide me if you can. Thanks. So I'm gonna now just read over some of the comments uh, of people basically roasting the seller. So here we have, RA is not a great business model on Amazon from a new seller. As you pointed out, you will not get ungated in a large swath of categories. And if a customer complains about the authenticity of an item, you will have no defense in Amazon's eyes. Uh, parentheses, need vendor invoices, not the store receipts you have. Um, the Bay is probably the best place to try this, but competition is fierce. You missed the heyday of RA by about 10 years. Probably not what you want to hear, but good luck. Uh, basically, that's not true. Um, invo or receipts from stores do work as long as they can match the barcode. So if you go to stores like Marshalls and Ross, they have their own little product code. So what you're going to have to do is take pictures of the item, uh, match it up to the receipt, and that makes sure all the tags match so that it, when you need to submit for proof, it works. So then we have a comment back. Um, basically, it just says, okay, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. It just, I keep seeing people even now on YouTube making pretty good income doing RA using Amazon FBA. So I just don't know how they're able to do it. And LG Triple Zero's comments, they are lying. Those videos sadly dupe many into thinking it can be done. Those people making those videos are not actually making any money on Amazon and instead are making money from their YouTube videos, getting clicks and views. Again, not the case. Um, these videos here, they're not monetized. I don't make anything on it. Um, and you know, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull up my Amazon seller app right now. Uh, let's see if this can focus. And we're currently at $497 for the day. Now this is very misleading because I have some inventory that has been sitting for a long time. And I decided today I'm gonna match the buy box price because there's just an influx of sellers and I'm just unloading it. So I'm getting a lot of sales today. Um, you know, my year to date sales, we'll go ahead and pull that up. And we are currently looking at 41,000, I think $780. See how well that loads. Um, you know, selling on Amazon, it's not easy. It takes a lot of time, um, a lot of hustling. And you know, it's not a get rich overnight kind of thing unless you can happen to find one hell of an item, which doesn't really happen because when you find that great item, other people will find it as well. Obviously, the end goal would be to get monetized on YouTube because that makes more money. And I'll talk about that one in a second in regards to one of these comments. Here we have green underscore three says, greetings, don't watch the YouTube videos. Go to Seller University and watch those videos and read those articles. If you have questions about that info, then come back here and ask questions. Um, a lot of these comments, they're always referring you to Seller University because it's the almighty Bible of selling on Amazon. Again, not the case, you know, Amazon, probably wouldn't be very successful if they didn't have all of us doing retail arbitrage because they're collecting fees for us doing the work and they're literally doing nothing but making money because we did all the front, front work. 
So then the original poster comes on and says, oh wow, okay. I never knew people would actually be lying about retail arbitrage on Amazon on YouTube. Going through the trouble of making the videos, not sure what to think now. I guess I might have to explore some other side hustles. I just dislike my job. I was really thinking RA would help me quit my job. You know, it's very possible that RA can help you quit your job, but it's gonna take a lot of time um, in order to grow your business. So um, again, it's not a overnight kind of thing where you're just gonna up and quit your nine to five. Um, because if you can go to Costco and scan for five hours and find profitable items, so can everybody else. Um, there, that's you know, that's retail arbitrage, and that's everybody would be able to do it. So Queen B is commenting to the post from Bridges Builder that says, "Have you ever stopped to think that if they were doing a lot of money on Amazon, there would be no need for them to make monetized videos on YouTube to dupe naive people?" So the comment reads, "The couple people that I follow who educate others and also sell do it because they are diversifying their business and also have an entrepreneur." Uh, spirit, so there's a natural motivation to being work, working on the next thing. They also are good presenters slash teachers, and so I suspect that they find it very rewarding to be teaching others to be successful. But these aren't the ones that are presenting in front of you the Lamborghini that they rented for the day to show you how successful they are. You know, $12,000 in 14 months, that's not enough for a Lamborghini, but it's enough for me to have a significant income for a side hustle. Um, in my opinion, in many cases, it's no different than all of those who spend their time helping others here when those people could end up being their competitors and hurting their business. So one could say, have you ever stopped to think that if they were doing a lot of money on Amazon, there would be no need for them to post here helping others? Of course, I'm not talking about the scammers trying to sell you the dream of becoming a millionaire with passive income selling on Amazon. So, you know, Queen Bee gets it. You know, diversifying your income. They talk about having seven streams of income. Typically, that's like your normal nine to five. That's your stocks. That's your retirement. All that stuff. I'm trying to have seven income streams through different businesses. Whether it's my nine to five, the Amazon, the YouTube. Maybe one day later down the road, it's a rental property. Maybe it's another side hustle that I've started. I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to get to that number seven. Um, but you know, YouTube will take me there eventually. Here we have a comment from Proving You Wrong. It says, wrong place to come and ask questions about RA. 99% of the people on these forums dislike RA. Um, I asked the question when I first started, they tried to run me out of town, as you can see from my name. Proving You Wrong. RA is not easy, but neither is anything in life. The deals are there. Find your niche, follow the rules. You will make money, and if you want, a lot of it. You can make it work, keep grinding. Uh, you know, Some people are there commenting in support of you. Um, and others are just trying to run you out of town, like they said. So um, it's what it is, but again, stay off the forms. Um, Miko Merch says, no, it's just a more competitive market now. It doesn't help that everybody is greedy, greedy and tanks the price on almost every listing, especially on our RA items. I pulled my hair out and lost tons of money trying to be competitive in the RA game. It's a waste of time unless you uh, live in specific cities. It doesn't help that everyone tanks the price on baby clothes and RA toys, so you end up losing money or breaking even, even 90% of the time. You know, this is probably one of the reasons why I source a lot of clearance items. Um, you know, these items aren't gonna be found nationwide all at one time. They're just single individual items. Maybe that's why my numbers aren't growing exponentially, but I am still making profits. Um, I just checked before I started making this video. Um, I started in August 20. 21 so we've been selling now for 14 months and I've only made twelve thousand dollars in profits um, You know, so it's possible. It's you know again not life-changing money I can't quit my nine to five on twelve grand in 14 months. However, it's just additional income that I have made um, Aside from just sitting at my home after I came home from work wondering how else can I make some money? Uh, this comment here from MMKK Ventures says, just out of curiosity, how does one follow the rules here when all they have are retail receipts for their proof of authenticity? Well, receipts work in order to get, um, you know, to beat their case if they get an unauthentic claim against them. Um, RMS here says, if you had a business that was making money, would you just post your secret on YouTube for others to copy or would you hire people to do the work and make the money for you? Um, you know, why not share your secrets with everybody else? I don't mind it. I'm selling clearance items. Um, 
you're not going out and pretty much finding these items that I'm finding, but the purpose of these videos that I re release for you is so that you get the idea that you need to just go out, scan a bunch of stuff, and you'll be able to find the items. Um, if I was worried that you're going to be finding all the items that I was finding, I probably wouldn't share those with you. It is what it is. This comment here from Better Life Emporium says, the thing about it is you're not going to make 2,000% on a few items and end up rich. You'll probably end up somewhere around 16 to 22% on average and just have to do a lot of volume for it to be worth it. Um, I do believe my percentages is a little bit higher than that, um, but I have shipped out 2,035 orders in the last 14 months. Um, 100 and I think five have been returned, which is like 5%, but majority of those have been able to be resold. Um, but you know, if you're happy with 22%, that's great. You know, if you figure, if you did $100,000 in sales and you made 22%, which was profit, you made $22,000 that year, which is pretty significant, um, especially if you're just doing this on the side. So obviously if you are selling, if you want to quit your job, you probably need to make a little more than 22,000 in profits in order to make this side hustle worth it. Bridges Builder says, have you ever stopped to think that if they were doing a lot of money on Amazon, there would be no need for them to make monetized videos on YouTube to dupe naive people? Again, not the case. Uh, just trying to share with you guys, you know, I'm being transparent. I'm showing you what's selling on my videos. Um, sh sharing these weekly, trying to at least, I'm a little struggling with that lately. Um, but I'm sharing the items with you that I'm selling. You know, I've shared with you when I'm taking losses on items and whether I'm making profits on items. Um, that's just the nature of Amazon. You know, I'm trying to help you guys. I'm always, um, I'm always looking to make an extra buck and figured this is a great way and I'm just kind of sharing my journey with you um, here on Amazon. Uh, let's see, so we'll just keep going down. Um, so this one, McLarson says, I found that these YouTubers aren't lying. The issue is they're sh they, the issue is that they show everyone what they're sh what store they're going to and what they are buying, which tanks the price on the pr tanks the price of the items they show, because new sellers have no clue how pricing works. And when they show the store, such as Ross, you got to think the whole fan base just saw that, and now they're flocking to Ross, so it's not going to do any good. Ra Ra is nice if you're starting out. Maybe a handful of good items just to teach you the Amazon basics. I'd suggest looking into selling books if you're new. High profit, low cost items like books are a great start. Although I personally don't do RA, I will sometimes find items in store on clearance as long as I have an invoice from my distributor for that item. Amazon wants to know that you take this seriously. It's your business. Spend the time to learn what's up. Um, you know, so that was a, that was a great comment there. Uh, this one, Super Train, comments about the title of the, the post here. It says, um, only on YouTube, they make their money on video views, selling spectacular tales of easy money to unsuspecting viewers. It's a scam. They're not real Amazon sellers, they're con artists, and they're good at it because their victims show up here every day wondering why the easy money is not working out for them. I am truly sorry if this describes your experience to date. I think this describes Super Train's experience to date um, because you know I'm sharing with you guys my numbers. Um, I am selling on Amazon, I'm not making money on YouTube. Just sharing my journey, just kind of documenting it all with you guys. That way one day I can look back and say, yep, that was the one that worked well for me. Um, you know, Super Train does go on to say it and says, in truth, there's no such thing as a get rich quick scheme on Amazon. Successful sellers, and there are many, work incredibly hard and have spent years finding the right products, developing their supply chain, managing profit and loss, and mastering this incredibly complex and arcane platform. There are many experts here for now who are willing to answer any specific questions you have, but this one we have heard millions of times and it's always the same. We're sorry this happened to you. So um, I think, you know, Superchain might have figured it out, but he or she tried retail arbitrage and just wasn't successful. Um, let me go, also, let me just read a few more for you. Um, wrong place to ask for guidance to do RA. YouTubers are selling people a fantasy tale for views. As many members already told you, you are late to the party by 10 years. There are YouTubers who gloat about flipping Amazon return pallets, but they quickly find out all the good stuff has already been taken. Um, you know, Maybe I am late to the party with RA, but I've been pretty successful in finding items to sell. Uh, in 14 months, I've done about $56,000 in total sales. Um, so that's pretty good, I think. Um, you know, let's see. I haven't tried flipping Amazon return pallets. I bet that would be awesome. Um, 
But then again, they're probably a stuff that's already being taken. Let's see here. You know, if you knew how to make money, why would you be, or would you be making money or making YouTube videos telling everyone how to make money? Um, again, you know, I'm not making anything off of these videos. I'm just sharing my journey with you all. Uh, let's see here. Let's find some else. Ask them to show you the real numbers. They are not there to teach you anything. They are there to make money for themselves. Uh, I've shown you the money. I don't offer a course. Um, just, you know, I try to give you my best experience and what works for me in order for you to make money yourself. We have a comment here from CJ Delivery Service. Um, I'm not sure what they were responding to, but it just says facts. They hate RA in the forums and will heavily discourage anyone that asks questions. Reach far and wide for advice and not here. And for the record, in my journey, I started by watching the YouTube guys and they were the key to my success and it did not cost me a dime. Good luck and do not give up. Um, you know, CJ Delivery, he had he was successful. Um, I don't know them personally, obviously, or for that matter, they were probably on YouTube before I even got to YouTube. But RA, Retail Arbitrage, it works. Um, MA Decorations, this is I'm doing it on the side a bit, not a long-term thing, but some quick bucks to keep you going. Really hard to find products, try the clothing category. Um, you know, again, I'm selling clearance items. Um, I'm finding items to sell pretty much about every time I go out. Um, you know, it might only be five bucks here and there, but it does add up. Let's see here. Um, just for fun, do yourself a favor and do not pay for any programs that tell you how much money you're going to make on Amazon selling using this method. The only ones making money are those selling the program. If you get on gated selling these items, at one point Amazon may contact you asking for receipts for a legit legitimate supplier, not a retail receipt, an invoice. Without appropriate invoices and permissions from the brand, the ASIN will be removed and you will possibly lose your seller account. You'll get one account per lifetime. A lot of Facebook groups out there are also offering VA services. Most of these virtual assistants work out of the USA and will want access to your account to get you immediate success. They will access and share or sell your personal information. More than likely, you'll lose your seller account. Never tried that. Um, probably wouldn't recommend letting a VA virtual assistant have access to your account. Um, I have had a lot of people reach out to me on Instagram and through the email that's linked here to YouTube and says like, hey, like we're an Amazon, Walmart, um, wholesale drop shipper. We'd love to have access to your account. Don't, I mean, I just kind of report them as junk spam. I don't even consider the thought because I want to be in control of my own business here. Um, so maybe just a few more. Um, RA is dead today. Most of the popular YouTube gurus started this way over 10 years ago, but it won't work today. Even the retail stores watch for resellers buying up the sales and clearance items and restrict these items as the stores has wised up to this practice. Maybe that's true. Um, some of the other popular YouTubers that I watch, uh, Richie Hustles, you know, he goes to Walmart every day. He's, he's making this work. It's just something you can do. Uh, Nikki Kirk, she's only been selling, I think, since 2017, five years now. You know, they haven't been doing this for over 10 years. Um, it still works to this day. You know, it's just a matter of going out there, sp spending the time and sourcing for items, finding what you can sell on Amazon and then just sending it in and letting it go. Um, so basically my advice to you for any new seller, if you've made it this far, is to stay off of the Amazon forms. Um, I rate it for comedy just because it's kind of fun knowing that I know that this does work uh, through retail arbitrage. Um, and whether these people maybe have had a bad experience or they go by the almighty retail arbitrage um, is just not good. You know, Seller University is the Bible. Um, you know, maybe the one day Amazon will come and ask for stuff that I don't have. And, but until then, I just stick to the items that are relatively safe to sell that way, you know, I reduce the risk on my account and avoid suspension. Um, so yeah, so, you know, you just gotta put the reps in, take the time, scan items. Right now we're approaching, we're in Q4, we're approaching Christmas, things are getting crazy. So if you are a new seller, you probably will see a lot of sales thinking this is great, this is easy. Not always the case because after Christmas sales, sales start to slow down. 
Um, but you know, I can, you still make sales all season long. It just depends on what you are selling. So I just wanted to put this out there just because it was kind of funny when I was reading this earlier today when I was um, on lunch. Um, you know, retail arbitrage does work. It just takes some time. You have to put in the reps. You need to scan everything possible. You're gonna be gated in a lot of things to start. There is ways to get ungated in a lot of this stuff, you know, health and beauty and clothing, the premium brands such as Nike. Um, I have videos on my channel here of how I did it, how it worked for me. Other sellers have commented that it has worked for them. Um, and if it doesn't, just return the items, but more than likely it should work for you, whether you're a new seller or have sold thousands of dollars worth. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed these comments. Um, you know, get on the get on the forums and read these for yourselves. These are pretty funny, but just don't comment because you're gonna get roasted by the people that have tried and failed.